All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the final lesson in the, um, or not lesson, video in the GUI series episode. Now, if the series has been helping you so far, I've released a full, like, $20 course on GUI, so you could go check that out in the comments. This episode will be about tweening. And so tweening is basically like animating something, right? How do we, how would we, for example, animate, um, let's say, we, so we have our gradient, right? I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Uh, yeah, so we have our gradient. How would I go about animating this gradient rotating right so that's kind of what i'm going to do in the video i'm going to show you if you wanted to make like a gradual change in something be that in size okay be that in the position be that in transparency be that in you know the gradient rotation whatever how would you go about animating that so for this example i'm going to animate the rotation of the ui gradient on our stroke and the stroke is like the border and i'll actually make um i'll make our gradient a little bit more visible just for this example okay so you don't have to do this but i will i'll do something like this okay so this will be our i don't know what's what's better there we go okay yeah sure that's going to be our new gradient okay and if we rotate it this is what it looks like right so it's it kind of like yeah it rot rotates around like this so that look that looks pretty cool right there we go um so yeah so the default rotation is zero and my goal is to gradually get this rotation to go from zero to all the way to like 360. So do a full loop and then continue animating basically forever. So how would I do that? So what I'm going to do is, you know, inside of our part spawn frame, I'm going to create a local script. Okay. And so we know what we want to change. We want to change the rotation of this UI gradient. So I'm going to make a variable for it. So local gradient is equal to. Um, let's see, script.parent.uistroke.uigradient. Okay, so script.parent. And let's just wait for child, UI stroke, wait for child, UI gradient. Then, in order to animate this, we need to use tween service. So I'll name it TS, game, get service, tween service. There we go. So how do we actually create a tween? And a tween is like an animation. So we can create an animation and then we can play it, pause it, or cancel it anytime we want. So what we do is you say tween service, colon, create. And so it needs three things. The first thing it needs is the item you're changing, which is our UI gradient. So, you know, we, we have a variable for it. Then you need something called tween info, which I'll cover in a bit. And then you need a table that has the name of the property, and then you make it equal the desired result. So I So for example, because we're gonna change the rotation, I'll have a table and it, that says rotation is equal to 360, right? Because that's the end goal. But first, let's actually cover tween info. The way you make tween info, as you can see, it says tween info, right? Is you just say tween info and then you can do dot new. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually make it a variable just so like we don't have too much text on one line. So I'll call it local um, t ti, sure, local ti equals tween info dot new. And the, I believe the only thing it needs is just a number, right? Like it doesn't need the easing style. It doesn't need the easing direction. It doesn't need any of this, um, but you could add it, right? And all of these have to be in order, by the way. So first it has to be time. Then it has to be the easing style. Then it has to be easing direction. So for example, if you want to, if you, if you want to change the repeat count, then you have to have all of the things before the repeat count in order. You cannot just have one repeat count because then it's gonna think that it's time, right? So time is how, how long you want the animation to last. So I'll say like, I don't know, four seconds. Easing style is enum easing style. And it's basically like how the animation moves, right? So if it's linear, it moves at a constant speed. If we do circular, then it slows down as the animation approaches the target, right? So like it starts off fast and then it slows down. Um, you have bounce or it kind of bounces. You have back, which is one I usually use because it gives it this like nice, like, I don't know, like, like fluid feeling because it slightly overshoots the target. So like, so like when it hits the target, it goes a little bit further and then goes back. So it gives like, it gives a little, like a tiny bouncy feel. Uh, but for this one, because we just want a simple rotation and, you know, we probably don't want it to be bouncing. I'll just say linear. Um, enum, easing direction. Um... So it's, it's how the easing style is applied. So the easing so because our easing style is linear, it's just a flat line. So it doesn't matter whether it's applied in a forward direction or a reverse direction. 
um, because it's just a flat line and even if we flip it it's still a line right so this doesn't matter um then we need the repeat count which repeat count is is exactly what i wanted repeat count is how many times you want the animation to repeat if we want it to repeat forever we just do negative one okay uh we don't want it to reverse and we don't want it to be delayed you know we, we don't, like the delay is basically like the amount of time that that like ha like should last between each um loop right but we don't want to delay we just want it to keep on looping so we can ignore these last two there we go so now i can put in the tween or no i would know the ti that, that we have and then i'll make a table with these two you know brackets and then because we're changing the rotation i'll just say rotation is equal to 360. there we go that that's literally it um and by the way it doesn't just have to be a rotation right so let's see i don't think there's anything else i could change here um i cannot change the transparency because f again for 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 ui gradients transparency is something called a number sequence and you can't tween a number sequence like it doesn't let you um but if for example transparency wasn't a number sequence then i could say also like transparency equals one or whatever so you are able to tween multiple values at the same time right but again for the ui gradient the only thing i can tween here is a rotation because it's like the only number here right and then to play it i just say um oh wait no i have to i have to make this into a variable so i'll just call it local tween equal here and then i say ts colon play uh oh no wait, tween my bad See, that's the only issue with naming everything the same, right? <laughs> you just, it just gets confused. There we go. Tween, play. And then you could also do tween, pause. You could do tween, cancel. And to, and it also has an event called uh, completed, right? So this will fire whenever the tween finishes. Now, it's not going to fire for us because, you know, we, we set it to loop forever. Um, unless we cancel it. So, so like, this will fire if we cancel our tween. But because we're not going to cancel the tween, then completed isn't going to fire. So, yeah, we make the tween... And we just make it play. And so if I, if I were to play the game right now, yeah, there we go. Every so every every four seconds, it does a full rotation. So that <laughs> that's basically Elder Snow for Tween Service. Um, now another thing I, that you should know, which I'm not gonna really cover it too much, but. Um, Using tween service is great for customize, like for like you know customization, but if you just want to quickly ch uh, tween either the size or the position of a GUI, um, you don't you don't actually need need tween service. So let me show you. If I if all I wanted to do was just change the size of this of this frame, right? Uh, I can do that. So I can say just local frame is equal to script parent, and then I can do frame tween size or tween position, right? And so what this requires is, is it requires the end size, which is a udim2, right? And a udim2 is just, um, let me show A udim2 is just something which requires an x scale and x offset and a y scale and y offset, which if you remember, is what the size is, right? So both the size and the position are x scale and offset, y scale and offset, x scale and offset, y scale and offset. So if you want to change the size or the position, you have to change them into a udim2 value because that's what they are x scale x offset y scale y offset so you can use this um function you know tween size or tween position and it's going to require you the like the desired size which is a udim2 or the desired position which is a udim2 or both so you need first to put the end size and then the end position and then and then all three of them will ask you then for the easing direction the easing style the time um I'm not sure what override does. Uh, I think callback will make it uh, run a function when it's done. So I think callback, you can put it like input a function. And then once the tweening is finished, it's going to run that function. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So callback is a function to call when the tween completes. Um, okay, so override will make this tween override once in progress. So by default, it's false. Okay, that makes sense. And yeah, so yeah, so tween size, tween position. So I'll just as an example, I'll just show you. End size, udim2.new. Uh 1010. One zero, one zero. This will make it this will make it as big as the entire screen. Um I don't I'm, I'm I don't know if it's gonna like take up the entire screen because it might just like start like like just being like uh, it's it's gonna start growing from this angle probably, so it's gonna grow over there. So it's probably not gonna cover the entire screen. 
but it's going to be as big as the entire screen, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so tween size. And like, I could add all of these, but like, it's not required, right? So if there's a question mark, that means it's optional. If there's no question mark, then you have to give it that value. So if I play it right now, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So it, yeah, so it became very big. And I can do the same thing for position. So tween position. Uh, I have no idea where it's going to go, but let's see. Okay, yeah, it went, it went away somewhere there. Awesome. Yeah, so that's kind of the idea between, you know, um, tweens. You can either have this simple, just, you know, tween size or tween position. So this does not need you to use tween service. Or if you want to tween something that isn't the, the size or the position, then you use tween service. And yeah, so that's basically it. So I'm going to delete this um, GUI. And once again, if you enjoy this, you know, check out my course. It's in the comments. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.